Well, I do have this piece that is like uh, narrow and diagonal. I could use that for the bow, but and then the uh, string of the bow is harder. And maybe I'll just substitute the bow for a spear or something with this. Although then you'd have to have some type of belt or something to hold it on. And I don't see any in the picture, he's just got like a loincloth. Which this uh, white thing here is supposed to be. Currently he doesn't have much of an ass either. <laughs> but he does have some sort of... Uh, Package here hanging. <laughs> mm, let's, tr let's try and make some type of spear or bow thing here in the back. Got a spear that's quite a thin spear though <laughs> compared to his hands, but oh well. It's not like I have anything else that's diagonal like this. Of course, the uh, roof pieces and whatnot are diagonal, but I don't have like the opposite piece for them. Uh, well, of course, there are these roofs that don't need an opposite piece, but these aren't uh, slanted enough. The angle is not proper. And well, now he also has a belt there, some sort of weapons, tool, belt, whatever. And uh, what was I... It's something in mind. Oh yeah, try to give him a belly button and nipples somehow. <laughs> mm -hmm, but what to, uh, what to use for the nipples? I can't like use anything like this because it'll generate... Uh... Oh shit, oh Fuck, those things actually do generate uh, supports, damn it. I must have had it turned on when I made them. No, there goes my smoke. Well, at least the fire can be in there. Goodbye, smoke. No more smoke for you. I guess it's uh, glowing embers then or something. <laughs> they forgot to uh, replenish the fire, add more fuel. All those fuel up top, on top of the fire can stay there. Now for the nipples. <laughs> yeah, everything pretty much creates a... Uh, Support underneath it, except maybe some roofs, but they would like stick out too much. <laughs> Don't think you should have that erect nipples. And if I use a wall piece, it'll be rather large or uh, wide. <laughs> maybe I'll try it out, see what it looks like. Maybe he'll just have massive nipples. <laughs> Those are pretty big for a man. <laughs> Not like I have any other choice though. Maybe he's a different type of texture. Maybe a bit smaller. I want it to be higher than that. Maybe not that high. Damn it. Oh, there we go. Mm, it looks okay. <laughs> what else? Belly button? Well, that would be just slightly darker than this or something. Dun, 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 dun. 
And again, the uh, pretty much the only choice is to use a wall of some type. If I add that, it adds some lines, which could be interpreted as a belly button, or maybe he has an Audi, not an Innie. <laughs> In the picture, I don't see any shoes on him. But I could uh, color those to look like some type of shoe. Although back then, I don't think there were shoes except maybe sandals. The others were just some type of cloth wrapped around and tied to the ankle or something. And on the picture, there's like pretty much nothing down here except some people, maybe. But I could add some statues for decoration nonetheless. Warriors at the front and women folk at the back or whatever this is. Looking good. Got rid of a lot of the supports in the middle, but not over here and over here. Maybe I should uh, cover the entire catacombs. Mm, that would, then it would actually be a catacomb, because I haven't heard of a catacomb that doesn't have a roof on it. They're <laughs> usually underground anyway. Did I see? I think I'll do that and. Uh, oh, jeez, there's like a. Uh, support going here and here. Damn it, I should have built the statue one space back. No! Maybe I can put something here that'll get rid of it. Do -do 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 -do. Hmm. Some of these. Do -do 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 -do. Maybe I'll do these all around the legs. And that's not accurate uh, when it comes to the picture I have. But then again, the picture might not be accurate either. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like that instead of the statues. Go less ugly uh, supports to deal with. And for this side, uh, hmm. maybe the trees get rid of them. Nope, damn it. Then it has to be something else like flowers or something. I'll figure something out. Probably gonna spend the next uh, time lapse or whatever filling up this space here and in between the colossus and such.
Okay, you think interesting Italy is now interestingly done. Italy, hooray, that's like uh, four down and who knows how many to go. Let's see, there's at least one, two, three, four, five, plus uh, six or seven when I add new uh, areas here. But anyway, Italy is done for. Um, I pretty much just added a uh, ton of uh, different cypress looking trees such as uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and those bushes all around. And then some uh, gardens here where the uh, supports used to be because they're good at taking care of those nasty looking supports. There's some uh, conifer hedge or whatever fence there and some brick ones here to make it look like a step garden or whatever thingy and then this area just mostly has a lot of different junipers and a uh, temple hiding there along with some flowers and uh, there should be some pillars and statues hidden in there somewhere as well can't really see them much though oh there's a uh, two pillars and a statue and there's another temple thingy, this time the ride is actually going through with the uh, gruesome graveyard. And then uh, over here we've got more pillars and juniper looking things. I had to take out the uh, pond that was here. Because earlier when I built the uh, rumble in the jungle here, I had to uh, l uh, level out half of the pond, so now there's actually two fountains instead. And then, uh, then I added a lot of junipers and bushes all around, such as over here and uh, over here, mostly bushes here. And this area also has more vegetation now on this shore here, and I added some temple dealios here on that queue line. This brick structure dealio there where the locust swarm comes out of the tunnel. And uh, this brick wall here along with the uh, fence and change the uh, ground texture to that one so it matches the bricks better. I also added a bunch of fences around like this fence here. It goes all the way up to, uh, up to here. The same on the other side. And continues this way all the way to there and such. And there's another fence there. Lots of little, little tiny things all around. All around. Although now this part could actually use a bit more supports. Because now there's like one there and the next one over here. Ah, there we go. That looks better. Mm -hmm. 